Hello, this is Renaud Angerin from Sophist. Have you heard of the idea of a continuous sampling plan? Checking product quality continuously on the products coming out of the same process in more or less depth depending on the results you find. I'm going to show you exactly how it works in this video. Let's start by explaining at a very high level how it works in a continuous sampling plan. So you have a a number of pieces that are made and they could be made just continuously maybe one piece coming out of a process every uh, five seconds or it could be um, one batch then wait for a while then another batch is made then stop wait for a while another batch is made um, it, it's it's applicable in both cases uh, it's a little bit better if it's um, continuous like in this case but it doesn't really matter all right so at a very high level you start by checking 100 percent of the pieces okay and then um, if all of them are good all are good once you reach a certain number then you only check one out of f a certain number f okay so a fraction uh, for example um, it could be uh, one out of two um, one out of four and so on okay then let's say you find a defective piece here you go back to one by one okay and again uh, if it's good then you can do um, one every F pieces okay so um, let's put it another way the the, the process really uh, is like this you start you check Um, then um, okay do you have a question do you have I it's a number um, sorry I consecutive units that are good okay so it's a question mark so let's do a little diamond here if it's no you keep doing this way if it's yes if it's yes then you only inspect a fraction sorry fraction f of the units okay um, and it's 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 really of course selected in a random manner okay then um, do you find you find a defect okay if it's yes you go back here and if it's no well you just keep doing this random inspection all right um, now the question here is how to find this number i okay so first you need to actually decide yourself on what the fraction f is going to be uh, but there's also something else that goes into this decision let's get to that it's the average outgoing quantity
quality limit or air a o q l and what what is it so um, you need to have a graph and in this axis is uh, the history before inspection okay before inspection number of defectives okay so maybe this is one percent two percent three percent okay for example and then actually this is this is also percentage defective but this is after your inspection your QC inspection okay so this might be um, 0 0.25 and so on okay 0 0.5 it, and and hopefully um, there's a lot of cases where you where there were actually three percent in the in the batch before your inspection and then you do your inspection you um, remove most of them and then it becomes 0 0.5 percent okay that's um that's the idea here so it means if you, if you plot this on, on on this kind of two by two graph you will have this type of curve and then you look at this point here the maximum the 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 highest number on this curve and you look at this value here okay and that's the aoq limit okay aoq is the average outgoing quality after inspection which is on the um the the the, the y-axis here so and you you you, you find it's it's the, the maximum on the curve okay and what is for what value of the aoq what is the maximum of the aoq it's called the AOQ, aoq limit aoql so uh, you need to collect a little bit of information or maybe make a, an educated guess and, uh, and over time get back to it and maybe refine it. So you will get this value of the AOQL limit. In this case, 0 0.25, uh, 0 0.5, maybe 1, and maybe this is 1.4%. Okay, let's say for example. Okay, good. Now you have this number. Let's get to this table. Um, which goes straight from a um, typical um, continuous sampling plan. Um, this is the, the, the most common type of co continuous sampling plans. There are some others. This is what they call um, CSP1, okay? The, the, the first one, the, 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 the most common. There are some others if you need to, to, uh, to check fewer samples, for example, or you have some other special circumstances, then you can have different plans but this is the the, the, the most common so um, AOQL percentage okay and we say it would be uh, 1.4 um, so okay let's say it's here it doesn't say it should be rounded up from, from my based on my knowledge so let's say it's this uh, this uh, this column here then you need to pick your fraction you pick it yourself okay the fraction f and for example if you say 1.2 you're gonna pick 23 pieces um, but then once it's good you will still pick one out of two pieces so you keep doing a lot of inspection even when it's good uh, if you pick one out of ten right here then uh, you need to check 89 pieces okay so let, let let's let's um so 89 pieces and then if all 89 pieces are good then you only check one out of 10 pieces after that let's let's take one out of four 49 so just to recap what we said it means that first um check 49 pieces uh, one after the other okay ideally coming out of the process one of the uh, out of the one after the other and let's say if they are all good all of them two is to um, switch to inspection 
uh, and it's one out of four because we said it's this one um, then is check one piece every four pieces okay and then as soon as you find one defect you go back to the previous point so I hope uh, this makes it clear uh, it might make sense for your processes or for your suppliers processes it might not make sense there's a lot of other type of types of sampling plans available for QC inspections at least I hope that I uh, responded to your main questions on this topic <laughs>